one of the most common questions we get when somebody is ready to sell their property is, what do I need to do to, to get the property ready? Uh, hopefully this will be not only uh, an actual in action guide or a walkthrough for this, but we do have a great multi-page document which walks you through this and would love to show you some real live examples. So I'm gonna go out on a little limb here and be totally vulnerable and show you my current home. Now, I'm not sure when you'll be watching this video. This is currently during the uh, stay at home order. So our house is a little bit messier than usual, but you know what, guess what? That's real, this is how we really live. Um, so some of the things I'm going to go through, one, all of them are referenced on the uh, occupied staging recommendations or our pre-showing or pre-open house checklist. Um, so these will be some real live examples. Uh, some of them may be completely, uh, absolutely common sense knowledge. Uh, and at the same time, it will still be helpful to, to understand because you will be absolutely surprised at some of the quality of photos that we do see uh, online in the market right now. So hopefully these tips will help you enjoy your home more while you're, while you're, you're still there improve your, your photos for when you do get ready to list your property and help make sure that you create a proper experience for when a, a prospective buyer is touring your property uh, when you are ready to sell to help make sure that they have a great experience for occupied staged listings. All right, so here's a, a property walkthrough video. Uh, now, once again, some of these tips will be pretty self-explanatory. Um, but here, here they are. So uh, we're going to do the living room today. So we're stepping up from formal foyer. You can see we have a nice uh, putting green out with a child's uh, putting golf toy. Now, um, yes, it's very obvious that this would not be out during showings. And at the same time, the, the additional tip here is any children's toys, it's okay to have children's toys out. We just want to stage them in a proper, we'll call it children area. So the goal of today right now is to how to make this space feel decluttered uh, and more of an adult living space. So first is we have a ton of floor space here. So we're going to, we're going to roll this up here and get rid of the, the actually you see one, two children's items. In fact, actually three children's items here. Um, so we're going to get rid of those um, in order to help open up some space. Things like on the floor, like a, a CD player, which we use for our, uh, you know, can be used for a child to be playing music and some uh, packages in the house. Once again, obviously all of these gone, but making sure all of these being out will tell somebody, hey, there's not a better place to put these things and brings attention. We see some window treatments here, and you can see, uh, you know, right now they're 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 they are open, but they could be opened more. So we're going to open them up more. Um, on a main, one of the first pieces you see right when you enter this room, uh, we're going to see a nice, beautiful buffet here. Um, but on it, we're going to have we have one, two three things here. So one of the main takeaways and action items here is ask yourself, anytime you see a single surface, it can only get one thing. What should that one thing be? So we're going to minimize and declutter here and likely remove this one piece and this one piece. So we just have one central piece here. Moving around to this area. So we have some plants here that are little DIY uh, you know, to get some sunlight. So we will be moving those as well. I already mentioned the kid's chair. We can see nice open sitting living space here. Um, but what we can see is these are pretty spread out. And this is currently spread out to make sure we can maximize seating and space. Um, but maybe we'll actually want to tighten up some of the seating area to, to make a more open space. We can see a ton of different uh, family photos on, on top of the mantle and on, on the piano. We can see multiple items out on the coffee table. Uh, we see some, some piano books and music books on the side here. Uh, and then looking around the fireplace, we have lamp, we have uh, multiple items, uh, the, the blanket storage, and then I see we have one, two, three items that are all purely decorative. And in, in addition to some of the photos on top, just multiple art pieces on top. Um, so, and coming looking, and looking back at the room here, I just see a lot of things, a lot of stuff. So we're gonna, this is the before picture, and we'll cut back to the after, uh, after I implement some of these suggestions right now. And here we have the after shot. So now the first look and experience with this room is gonna be a nice, large, open space. So the first feeling somebody gets is open and big and bright, and you get the natural light from the windows coming in and reflecting off that space. 
if we were getting this professionally staged, maybe we would have a small bistro seating area, almost like a, uh, two small club chairs with a small table to, to almost stage like a little reading nook to help actually further expand the space. So that way it'd still be open in this front area here, but then utilize this corner space here. So, you know, in full disclosure, been in this house for a year and uh, still wondering how best to use that space. Uh, in addition, so now you'll see the mantle and the piano uh, is cleared and the buffet here is cleared. Uh, the art piece we have here is not the right color, you know, for the space, but uh, we because it is a key substantial wall, needing some sort of heavy space and piece that's large enough to reflect the size of the wall and the fireplace would be key for, for that area. So now we have nice, open, bright, clean, um, in fact, actually, I moved these two chairs uh, closer and moved the coffee table in. So now we actually even have uh, more space here instead of the chairs being closer to the corner of the carpet, which now then when if you were to take uh, you know, professional photos, you can see that there's actually foreground space to make the room look larger. Uh, we have less pieces on the coffee table and just much less, you know, maybe we would actually it rec recommend a, a piece of art for that wall. Once again, we just haven't done it yet, but going out to Cost Plus World Market, Home Goods, Target, whatever it may be, just to get some very general pieces to have in that space. Now, the part that I was going back and forth on is would we want to have the pillows that we have on each of the two chairs. Now in person, I think it actually helps bring a little bit of color. There's the yellow in both these pillows and these, so it brings a little bit of color to the space. But if you were to be taking, you know, your, for your first shot and your first image, uh, and the professional photos here, I think it would bring a lot of attention down towards the chairs as opposed to the, the light in the space of the room. So for the professional photos, I would actually recommend removing these two pillows uh, for the actual photo shot. And now we're gonna get a much cleaner, uh, crisper feel to the space without drawing attention just to the chair. And then maybe the in-person showings, we would have the items and the pieces as well. So here now we have a nice clear open space and here is your living room shot.